Hi there, I'm Michelle Burroughs, Director of A-Plus Schools of North Carolina, and I'd like to welcome you to the Arts are for Life Virtual Professional Development Series. This series is a collaboration between the North Carolina Department of Public Instruction, the North Carolina Arts Council, and A-Plus Schools of North Carolina. Hello and welcome to Module 1, Double Standards in the Arts are for Life Virtual Professional Development Series. We are excited to journey with you today as you grow professionally. Please know that you will need to pause this video during certain places to allow you to reflect individually or with your group. You will want to take notes during this time as this will help you answer the evaluation questions at the end of the module. We want to thank you for taking time to better understand the North Carolina Arts Education Essential Standards. Enjoy. The arts have been part of life from the very beginning and are inseparable part of the human journey. They have described, defined, and deepened the human experience. The arts are everywhere in our lives, adding depth and dimension to the environment that we live in and shaping our experience daily. The arts help students perceive and think in new ways. The arts are powerful economic force as well, from fashion to the creativity and design that go into every manufactured product to architecture, to the performance and entertainment arts that have grown into multi-billion dollar industries. Arts education benefits both student and society because students of the arts discipline gain powerful tools for understanding human experiences both past and present, teamwork and collaboration, making decisions creatively and solving problems when no prescribed answers exist. Adapting to and respecting others' diverse ways of thinking, working, and expressing themselves. Understanding the influence of the arts and their power to create and reflect cultures. Analyzing nonverbal communication and making informed judgments about products and issues. And communicating effectively. While all students will not become professional dancers, musicians, actors, or visual artists, all students will benefit from skills and processes that are developed through the arts and that can be applied in a variety of disciplines and settings. One example of this is the creative process for any work of art and its direct correlation to the processes used for writing. The arts have both intrinsic and instrumental value. That is, they have worth in and of themselves and can be used to achieve a multitude of purposes. For example, to communicate issues and ideas, to persuade, to entertain, and to beautify. Beyond those intrinsic values of studying the arts, each arts discipline appeals to different senses and expresses itself through different media, adding richness and engagement to the learning environment. An education in the arts helps students learn to identify, appreciate, and participate in the traditional art forms of their own communities. As students imagine, create, and reflect, they are developing the both verbal and nonverbal abilities necessary for school success. At the same time, the intellectual demands of the arts help students develop problem-solving, critical, and creative thinking abilities. Numerous studies now point toward a consistent and positive correlation between a comprehensive education in the arts and student achievement in other subject areas and on standardized tests. A comprehensive, articulated arts education program engages and helps students develop the self-esteem, their self-discipline, cooperative skills, and self-motivation necessary for success in life. Now take a time to stop and reflect individually and as a group. Thank you. North Carolina Arts Education Essential Standards provide a comprehensive framework for each of the arts disciplines, dance, music, theater arts, and visual arts in the public schools. Dance has existed since the beginning of humankind. Before verbal or written communication existed, humans used movement to communicate and to help them com comprehend, shape, and make meaning of their world. Moving rhythmically is innate. Young children revel in their ability to move because movement as a form of self-expression is intrinsic to our existence as human beings. Dance is a natural vehicle that children use to help them understand themselves and the world in which they live. Dance education helps students use movement to creatively express meaning. It provides students with a way of kinesthetically learning 
and communicating. The dance program is designed to teach students fundamentals in dance and choreography and to help students develop creativity, problem solving, self-discipline, and focus. Through dance, students come to appreciate rich and diverse cultures, beliefs, and societies. Dance helps people connect with one another and exist in all cultures and places. Music is deeply embedded in our existence, adding depth and dimension to our environment, exalting the human spirit, and contributing in important ways to our quality of life. Music is one of the fundamental ways human beings create and communicate meanings and is one of the primary ways we learn about ourselves, others, actions, and consequences, and traditions and beliefs. The music program is designed to develop musical literacy. Through music, students increase their awareness of rich and diverse cultures, beliefs, and societies of humankind. As students examine the role of music throughout history and in different cultures, they develop respect for diversity. The processes of creating, performing, and understanding music are the primary goals of the music program. While performance is an important aspect of the music study, it does not substitute for students' development of creative processes and of broader integrated experiences and understandings. Through creating, students are able to be imaginative, think critically, and approach tasks in new or different ways. Theater arts. Theater, the imagined and enacted world of human beings, is one of the primary ways children at an early age learn about life, about actions and consequences, about customs and beliefs, about others and themselves. They learn through their social pretend play and from viewing others' interactions in life, on television or in movies, and through other media. Children use pretend play as a means of making sense of the world. They create situations to play and assume roles. They interact with peers and arrange environments to bring their stories to life, and they direct and respond to one another's dramas. Children arrive at school with rudimentary skills as playwrights, actors, designers, directors, and audience members. Theater arts education continues to build on this foundation. The theater arts program integrates several aspects of the art form. Script writing, acting, designing, directing, researching, comparing art forms, analyzing, critiquing, and understanding context. Visual arts. From the beginning of time, the compulsion to create a visual vocabulary has been as innate in every society as the desire to acquire a system of spoken symbols. Visual art from past civilizations is frequently one of the few remaining clues with the power to illuminate which values were held most dear. Today, every aspect of our designed environment will serve to explain who we are to those of the future. The pattern of human growth in society is to develop a multi-sensory means of communicating symbols and values. A child discovers objects. Those objects take on meaning. And this meaning is denoted and communicated through the various means of expression available to that child. The visual arts program is designed to develop visual literacy by promoting fluency in the various modes of visual communication. Students learn the visual arts by using a wide range of subject matter, media and means to express their ideas, emotions and knowledge. They evaluate the merits of their efforts and this assessment forms the basis for further growth that extends to all disciplines in school and to life. Visual arts education is a multifaceted creative process, which includes the development of perceptual awareness and the ability to use materials expressively. Through participation in visual arts, students have the opportunity to recognize and celebrate the creativity and diversity inherent in all of us. The essential standards communicate what students should know and be able to do. As a result of instruction at each grade level, K through eight, or proficiency level, beginning, intermediate, proficient, and advanced. Because of the broad base of knowledge and skills involved in creating, performing, responding to, and understanding the arts experiences, and learning must occur in a sequential manner. Now it's time to reflect individually or as a group. The arts education essential standards feature the following. 
communicating and developing literacy within each arts discipline. Thinking creatively and critically and solving artistic problems. Understanding the arts in relation to history, culture, heritage, ideas, and lifelong learning. Connecting learning within each arts discipline with other arts disciplines outside of the arts, the real world, 21st century themes and skills, and to life beyond school, whether that be further education, pursuit of an interest, or a career. Understanding and appreciating world cultures and historic periods. For the first time, the arts education and central standards have common clarifying objectives at all levels, which have been closely aligned with history and culture components of the social studies essential standards. The purpose of this structure is to provide common learning and understanding within and across the arts and social studies through a child's education. Addressing 21st century themes and skills via the essential standards, clarifying objectives and or assessment prototypes. 21st century skills. Specifically, the following 21st century skills are taught as an inherent part of each of the arts education disciplines. Thinking and working creatively, creating, elaborating on, refining, and evaluating original ideas, implementing originality and innovativeness, and demonstrating openness and responsiveness to new and diverse perspectives, implementing innovations and acting on creative ideas, reasoning, making judgments and decisions, and solving problems in both conventional and innovative ways, communicating in a variety of forms and contexts and for a range of purposes, collaborating effectively, respectively, and flexibly with diverse teams to accomplish a goal, assuming shared responsibility and valuing contributions of each team member, accessing, evaluating, using, and managing information from a variety of sources with an understanding of ethical and legal issues, understanding media messages, influences, creation, interpretations, and purposes. Applying technology tools effectively to research. Organize, evaluate, access, manage, integrate, evaluate, create, and communicate information. Applying life and career skills, including flexibility and adaptability. Initiative and self-direction. Social and cross-cultural skills. Productivity and accountability. And leadership and responsibility. Now let's stop and take a second to reflect individually or within your group. Course of study. The intent of the Arts Education Essential Standards is that a comprehensive understanding of one or more of the arts be accomplished by each student throughout the K-12 program. Students at the high school level will have the option of studying an individual arts discipline as an area of interest or specializing and or completing a concentration in studies to prepare them for future education and or a career in the arts. Students should know and be able to do the following by the time they completed secondary school. Communicate at a basic level in the four arts disciplines, dance, music, theater arts, and visual arts. This includes knowledge and skills in the use of the basic vocabularies, materials, tools, techniques, and intellectual methods of each arts discipline. Communicate proficiently in at least one art form, including the ability to define and solve artistic problems with insight, reason, and technical proficiency. Develop and present basic analyses of works of art from structural, historical, and cultural perspectives. This includes the ability to understand and evaluate work in the various arts disciplines. Recognize and appreciate exemplary works of art from a variety of cultures and historical periods and have a basic understanding of historical development in the arts disciplines across the arts as a whole and within cultures and relate various arts concepts, skills, and processes within and across disciplines, which includes understanding the arts in relation to other subject areas and making connections in a variety of settings in and outside of school. Organization. Each grade level and high school proficiency level includes essential standards and clarifying objectives which are organized by strands. These components are specific and vary for each of the arts disciplines. 
content and skills that are not limited to particular materials or methodology, but that can be delivered through multiple approaches and materials, are described through the essential standards and clarifying objectives for each area. Specific support materials, tools for implementation, and other information will be provided through the Essential Standards Instructional Toolkit and Professional Development. Now, let's stop and take a second to reflect individually or within your group. Each discipline has a set of strands which provide common threads of understanding that cut across all grade levels. In dance, the four strands are creation and performance, dance movement skills, responding, and connecting. In music, the three strands are music literacy, music response, and contextual relevancy. In theater arts, the four strands are communication, analysis, aesthetics, and culture. In visual arts, the three strands are visual literacy, contextual relevancy, and critical response. For all disciplines, the strands are broken down into essential standards. Essential standards identify what students need to understand and be able to do to ensure their success in the future, whether it be in the next class, post-secondary, or the world of work. There are no more than 10 essential standards for any discipline. The essential standards are broken down further into clarifying objectives. There are at least two clarifying objectives per essential standard and no more than five. This example is from the approved essential standards for music. The table illustrates the format for decoding the essential standards. Note that the standards are organized under a large heading, Music Literacy. Music Literacy is the strand for this particular essential standard. The number four lets the viewer know that you are viewing a grade four standard. The ML indicates the strand, which is Music Literacy. The one indicates that the viewer is looking at the first essential standard under musical literacy, which reads, applying the elements of music and musical techniques in order to sing and play music with accuracy and expression. The three indicates that this is the third clarifying objective within the standard, which reads, use voice and or instruments to execute melodic movement through pentatonic melodies on the treble staff. The North Carolina Arts Education Essential Standards provide a clearly articulated sequence of instruction grade by grade in grades K through 8 and by proficiency level, beginning, intermediate, proficient, and advanced in grades 9 through 12. Because of the broad base of knowledge and skills involved in creating, performing, responding to, and understanding the arts, experiences, and learning, must occur in a sequential manner. Standards and course, courses at the high school level. Beginning is for students without K through 8 experiences or with limited K through 8 experiences. Intermediate is for those students who have received K through 8 progression or who have achieved beginning level standards. Proficient follows intermediate and advanced follows proficient. Proficient and advanced courses are honors level courses. Students may pursue coursework from beginning through advanced levels of learning in multiple courses within each arts education discipline. Specialized courses like technical theater or ceramics do not have a separate set of standards. The North Carolina Arts Education Essential Standards are written broadly so that they can be used for any course. In the next activity and reflection period, identify one strand in an arts discipline by referring to the North Carolina Essential Standards. Then select an essential standard, then focus on one clarifying objective. Conclude the activity by addressing the following question. What is one way you could incorporate the CO into your lesson planning or professional practice? 
now stop and complete the reflection activity by yourself or in your personal learning team. The link on the screen directs you to the North Carolina Arts Education Essential Standards. When thinking about implementing the essential standards at the classroom level, planning for instruction should include number one, how the standard is taught, number two, how the standard is reflected in the student work, and number three, how the standard is assessed. Also, number four, how the standard connects to other areas of the curriculum, to 21st century themes and skills, etc. And last, number five, how the standard may be differentiated for special populations such as AIG, EL, and EC, and or multiple entry points. We thank you for participating in the Arts Are For Life Virtual Professional Development Series. This series is a collaboration between the North Carolina Department of Public Instruction, the North Carolina Arts Council, and A-Plus Schools of North Carolina. This concludes the module.